Welcome back to A Closer Look. We now take a closer look into the different plants in Papua New Guinea that can be processed into different products using science technology to earn a revenue for the country. Under the leadership of Professor Tupurali, a natural product chemist and professor of chemistry at UPNG, showcased a pilot field work conducted by chemistry discipline in central province and confirmed that PNG can make 2 billion kina per year if they acquire correct process technology for export in value-added products. The responsible minister for higher education, research, science and technology, Don Polye, visited the Inawabui village at Kairiku district in central province, where the pilot field work is located on the 21st of February 2023. The outcome of this visit was to provide a clear vision to the minister and ministry to provide political leadership in driving science, to embrace technology to achieve downstream processing goals for PNG. Towards this objective, the DS Secretariat can be recognized as a key institute to frame policy initiatives and can be tasked to drive research findings for PNG government institutions, such as universities and research institutions. Minister Polly confirmed that his job is to facilitate research to develop knowledge. I am more interested in science in researching for knowledge. That's my interest, and not because I'm doing it as a minister. That has always been me. Professor Tupirali stressed that the forests of PNG have interesting molecules yet to be discovered and can earn millions of kina for PNG if developed as pharmaceuticals food flavors. He explained that the firewood-powered distillery is used to extract oils on a pilot scale and pilot plant set up to extract plant oils and develop new markets in collaboration with local people. Professor Raleigh stressed that Masoya oil downstream processing and export is an activity which needs to be developed properly and embrace tree cultivation. Further research is required to downstream process Masoya oil to extract chemical compounds called C10 and C12 lactones for butter and milk flavoring and demonstrate sustainability issues with local landowners by massive cultivation of masoi trees in many communities. He was appealing for government ban on the tree by Chinese and Melanesians not to harvest these trees by encouraging local people to bring it to them. It's, a very, it's an endemic tree that God gave us and we don't want uh, uh, sudden intake of people who have the know-how and they come and deplete everything. Well, our job then, if we really want to be a major player in this game, right. is to have the correct technology to separate C10 from C12 right. from the rest of the other chemicals yes. in this oil. Yes. Their research has identified petroli cultivation and processing in Kairiku electorate as a new commercial activity and patchouli oil is used in perfumery. Patchouli cultivation and processing shows that the oil content is very good, 2% and economically viable for full production scale after three months of oil plant drying and fermentation and potential market for PNG is over 30 million kina each year. Now this is a masoi bark. Right. From as dry as this, you end up with this. This is the right. first stage, primary stage. Once we get the oil out from the back and refine it so that it's nice and colorless like this, the next step is we look for the chemical that we are after. He says there is a treatment of COVID-19 and HIV called hopafenol, an oil that comes from a tropical tree. In fact, we found uh, a tree not far from here. That's the best. Uh, it's got a chemical called opafenol. Opafenol. Right. And it's proven to be the best candidate. Opafinal is proven to be the best candidate for the treatment of COVID-19. Another one is the Kananga cultivation and processing that rate as 68 US dollars per kilo, which grows in river systems, and it has the most magnificent smell. Uh, Kananga um, is actually used in perfumery 
already mm, like in Indonesia, Madagascar. He also highlighted that oil called vetiva comes from a plant originated from India where the roots are used to make this expensive oil. Professor Raleigh said the roots of vetiva are cultivated in PNG and research is currently underway to see if new TB drugs can be developed. I spent the last 10 years looking at this oil. Uh -huh. This is a vetiva oil. The nice thing about this is uh, uh, the roots. Professor Rally called on the government to allocate about 40 million kina per year for the next five years to have real impacts on economy through resets. Minister, my uh, overview of uh, all these things, uh, first of all, you came as a state minister, you're the first in, to see something on the ground and to see the value of things, the value of plants, the chemicals that can come, creating value out of them. But there's a huge uh, potential in the country where Papua New Guineans can grow various tree crops or herbs or anything uh, because the markets will, will be well demonstrated. Uh, the owners uh, for us through the University uh, of PNG, the School of Science, is um, to really showcase this one on a pilot scale. We need some advanced technologies. Minister Polly responded that he will not fund money to individual tertiary institutions in the country to carry out researches, but he will fund the money through the formal system which is under the law so that researches can be carried out and technology will be in place to develop knowledge. The Papua New Guinea government cannot, research, uh, cannot allow universities to research whatever they please. It must be guided by government policy through the research agenda. And then it must be managed and regulated or coordinated by the chief scientist of Papua New Guinea. The chief scientist of Papua New Guinea, I am reiterating and re-establishing it and making it strong. Uh, it is the, the Secretariat of Research, Science and Technology. Minister Polia said to work closely to stop scientists from other countries coming into this country and using PNG people to take our resources away. He stressed that he will make sure that we have money to conduct our own researches at the same time and we can develop our own technology. All one of them stuff three, you grow our own water or one of my river system, but you will plan him. So you will people very important. Lawakim this la a knowledge development program law government, you people and the government through our scientists will be working together hand in hand to develop the knowledge through research. Minister Polly confirmed that he will support scientists in the country with technology through the formal system under the law so that researchers can be carried out to develop knowledge. Don't go away. After the break, we take a look at an all-female rugby club in the nation's capital.